This one's gonna go big. Hello and welcome back to the channel. There seems to be quite a lot of love for these old 2P machines. Decent number of comments being left on the previous video there, PCP. The 2P Play Masters, you see quite, quite a lot of people there have left comments, few little stories and memories in there. What I'm going to do is do a proper follow-on video. I was wanting to cover more older machines anyway. Uh, the, the £4 jackpot machine video was quite well received. This 2P Play video one that has been quite well received as well so i am going to do more however what i just want to do quickly for this video is just cover this specific machine here fruit cracker because two people made the same point about fruit cracker uh, sponge lad here was asking about it do you remember fruit cracker the gamble ladder went from 40p straight to two pound and when you hit the £2 jackpot, it could hold twice for £6. Uh, I checked back through my Fruit Machine emulation collection and found that we had a layout for it. This is actually a Tommy CDX from back in 2013. And I will just say, by the way, that the Test Pilot DX here as well, this is a Tommy CDX from 2017. So we do have quite a few of these old 2P machines already in the emulator with a DX layout. So thank you to Tommy C for both of these, because they are in this video. And there was another guy here, Torbay Fruits and Jackpots. And he's also making the same point about the same machine, Fruit Cracker, which had a gamble. This this really bonkers gamble. If you look here, it goes 2p, 4p, 6p, 10p, 20p, 40p, £2. He's making the same point as well that the jackpot could hold once or twice. And of course, if it held twice, you had £6 all cash out of a 2p play machine and sponge lad here coming in with this little story i remember must have been about 1989 ish i was camping in skegness and there was one on the campsite arcade my sister will have been 12 at the time and had 50p and i, I had about the same off we went for about half an hour while my mum made breakfast and my sister put 10p in fruit cracker she gambled to grapes and she wanted to collect 40p. I convinced her to gamble, probably hoping it would lose so I could shark her, and it came in with two holes after. It seemed to be paying out forever. She scooped it up and went running back to the caravan, screaming her head off. I mean, £6 in 1989 to a 12-year-old was crazy. 50p each would have been our full arcade for the budget for the week, I would have thought. She's 45 now. I'm going to ring her later and see if she remembers it. So you can see here some really vivid memories of these 2p play machines. And Sponge Lad here again specifically saying that the gamble from grapes to melons was a tough one, but it would eventually do it. If the 10p tube was full, it would always JP in less than £2, so your repeats or holds were a bonus if you got them. If not, you walked away. So, like I say, I will do some more videos about these older machines, not just the 2p ones, but other older machines as well, you know, old £4 jackpot machines, maybe some £3 jackpot machines, whatever they may be, because there does seem to be quite a lot of affection for them out there, and specifically about the 2p play machines. You know, a lot of people saying the same thing. You couldn't really lose that much on them. You know, they, they were a far gentler proposition than even the 20p play machines of the time, which I did say in the previous video, that you think about it, 2p play to 20p play, that is a massive difference. So what we're going to try and do here is replicate that, that feat that Sponge Lad witnessed on the Caravan Park in Skegness back in 1989, and we're going to try and get the £6 out of this. Now, I have had autoplay do some play on this, so it has got a drift in our favour, but not too crazy. Uh, Autoplay has actually done a reasonably good job of taking, you know, a few wins out of it, and the wins do drop in. Once the machine gets a bit happier, it will start just dropping in, you know, 20p and 40p on the win line, and I have configured the autoplay to try and collect things. Now, I'll just explain what's going on here. If you're not familiar with this game, you can see there... 
that I've over the last few spins I've filled up those nudges above the reels and what happens is you will be offered at well set oh now you have two PCPs starts the feature two PCPs anywhere on the win line starts the feature so we'll, we'll go back to we'll lose the nudges by the way that's the slightly annoying thing we'll lose the nudges and we just got 2p off that now we get a little repeat chance it has repeated you can see here it's a very simple grid fill you get a silver and a golden pot and then it does respins on the reels and then so sometimes it doesn't fill in a line at all by the way but whichever line you fill in if you do fill in a line and that was another basic 2p there you can collect your winnings whenever you want by the way so we'll do that here you can see now that my nudges have gone, but keep an eye on the reels, assuming that we don't get the bloody PCPs dropping in again. You will see that after a few spins, I'll fill in one of the nudges. There's one of them, so I've got a nudge on reel two. Oh, fucking hell, it's dropped the fucking feature in again. The thing with the feature is, the most you can get off it is 20p. Now, you can gamble the wins. As long as it's not 2p, you can actually... Oh, he didn't even give us one at all there. So that was a bit harsh. So now we've got to build our nudges up again. Which is quite, I mean, you can hold, it does like to, if you hold, it does like to bring in from, from a two of a kind on a hold. So you can hold that and that might, there we go, that's brought in the bells for us. But it's a harsh gamble. I mean, this machine does owe us, like, a, you know, not fortune, a, you know, like four or five pounds, something like that. So I have done, oh, there's the feature again. I have done a couple of dry runs at this. It's a, I would say it's about 50-50. If it's going to hold the jackpot, it, it will hopefully hold the jackpot once or hold the jackpot twice. There's a gamble that's won. Now the next one is to grapes. We've won the gamble to grapes. You can get... So here we are. You don't have to get the £2 straight in one. You can gamble it out. So let's gonna go for, we're going to go for the big gamble from grapes to melons. Oh. <laughs> that's all the way down to 2p. It can be... And now we've uh, our nudges are gone. So what we need to do here... Is Because this is one of the ways you can try and get a little bit clever with it. Is build your nudges up. And then try and hold the reels. Because you can nudge up. See there. I've got now. I've got me one nudge. And you can. That's one up one down. Now I can either shuffle there. Can you see? I can either shuffle or hold. I'm going to hold the middle reel. Because I've got a melon above. Now that would have. It's offering me the nudges there. Can you see? It is giving me a chance to take the nudges. But it's no use to me there. I've got melon, melon. But I've got no melon. On reel three, so that's no use to me there. I'll just have to spin off. I'm not going to use the nudges there. It's telling me that I can collect 4p off the nudges. I'm not going to use it for that. That would be a waste of the nudges. We may as well shuffle there because there's nothing decent on. I'll hold that one there because we've got the melon below. Okay, that's fine. It's just dropped to win straight in. It does, it does like to lose that gamble. Um, we will shuffle again because we've got our three nudges. So we can hold those there for grape C. Again, if it would have offered us the, um, the, the the nudges, we could have got grapes there for 40p. But you can get it straight in with the melons. I'm not saying that like this is the right way to do it, but I have had a little bit of success before just holding melons above or below the win line. We can get 10p off them there. It hasn't given us a hold. Uh, we're not interested in that. And the problem is, it, like I say, if the PCPs drop in, two PCPs starts that that feature up at the top which you can gamble up as long as you don't get 2p off it now then if i hold them all see there it is actually offering me it is offering me a shuffle there but if i hold them all and it unlocks the nudges i've got the melons which it hasn't <laughs> which it hasn't okay fine we'll have to keep going it can hold on to it for a little bit it really can it can be a little bit harder than than you might imagine no uh you can see by the way sorry i should have said this is another pcp rebuild and you can see here that they have rebuilt into the barcrest mpu4 cab of the day so all the machines that we were looking at in the last video and indeed test pilot off to the right here they're they're using jpm machines as their base mps2 whereas this one here this is the very familiar barcrest cab from the late 80s probably the most famous machine that appeared in this cab would have been a smash and grab of course but barcrest you loads of machines into this cab so pcp didn't really care what tech they rebuilt into that, that they would rebuild into whatever was going and in this case, for this machine, they are using a Barcrest uh, MPU4 cab, and it will be Barcrest MPU4 technology. This is being a real pig, you know. I mean, it's, it's held on to them nudges for ages. 
It's letting me gamble up here. Maybe we'll get it on the gamble. And it's gambled down again. I don't know if it... There, it, there, it's done it. See there, I held them all. I held them all and it offered me the nudges. There, with that actually cost a few... 65p to get that. So there we are. Now we take our nudges. That old bloopy bloopy MPU4 music. And here we go with our £2 jackpot. And we get a nice little blast of ABBA, sort of. Hasn't done the hold, you tight, tight, vicious bastard. I'm not happy. I'm going to do that again. We're going to get this thing to bloody well hold. Go on then. We've got 40p off the nudges. I've got three nudges there. I've just gone back to the same RAM file again. Let's see if we, this is quicker than last time. Oh, no. Oh, we've got another 40 we, This is off the feature. Gamble for the jackpot here. Hard gamble to get to win that. Go on then, 40p off the nudges. We'll see if we can see so can nudge up. Gamble for here we go. Gamble for the jackpot. Come on. So now is can we get the hold? Can we get the hold? We didn't get any hold last time, which is a bit disappointing. Look for the hold buttons. Yes, yes. There is the first hold, so we're now up to four quid. What a pen blast. I say apparently it can do it, because I tried it before. I had some test runs at this before. It can definitely hold twice, as Sponge Lad and Torbay Fruits were saying. Oh, it's only given us the one. You see there, it only wanted to give us the one. Come on, we'll have one more crack. Let's get the double hold on this thing. Well, we've got a gamble. This is just off a, a win straight on the reels. Gamble for the jackpot. Gamble for the jackpot. No. Okay, potential there. If it, if it gives... See there, it's offering me a, a shuffle. It's playing like a pig this time. Give me the nudges. Yes! That, that, you know what? It's really weird. You get different, completely different results every time. But there is the jackpot nudge. There is the jackpot nudge. So let's see if we can get it to do the two holds this time. It's so strange, you can go back to exactly the same RAM file and it will play, you'll, you'll get a different game every single time. You, you absolute bastard. It hasn't held, not even one hold. Actually, those grapes just, I think this should still be able to do it. Oh, you fudger. Right, there's a 40p nudge, so we all, I've gone back to the RAM file again. So let's take the nudges and then nudge up. Gamble for a jackpot. This would be nice if it comes in. <laughs> why? 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 Okay, I've got them all lined up there above the reels. If it can give me the nudges. Oh, you pig, you pig, you pig. And now we've got the risk of it dropping the feature in. We'll get it again soon. Go on then, we'll take a, we'll take a 40p nudge. So we can win that gamble to two quid. We've seen this gamble win. There we are. There we are. Right, okay then. Can we get the hold? We've had one hold up to now. We've had a miss, we've had one hold, and we've had a miss. Let's see if we can get the two holds this time. Come on, come on, come on, hold. <laughs> I promise you it can do it. I had it before. I should have grabbed it on bandy cam before. I didn't realise it would be such hard work to get it again. Oh my god, it just dropped the jackpot straight in on the reels then. It was playing like an absolute twat on that on that run. And then all of a sudden, I just held one melon and it just dropped the other two in. And there is a hold. There is a hold. So that's a hold. I literally, I didn't quite get it on Bandicam because I wasn't expecting it to happen. Just held one melon and the other two dropped in. I was going for me nudge holds and it just dropped them in. Let's just see. Can we get the two holds? Can we get the two holds? Come on. Yes, there it is! <laughs> there it is! That's the big one. That is your £6 cash out of a 2p machine. And I can well imagine 
twelve year old at the caravan park, you know, you go to the arcade with fifty p, and you come out with six quid, you would absolutely be buzzing. Let's just collect that out there. Let's leave the melons on the reels. So there you go. And just a way to think about this, by the way, would be that is the equivalent as a stake versus prize. You know, a multiplication of stake of the win. That is like getting. 300 quid out of a £1 play, £100 jackpot fruit machine. Because think about it, 2p play, £2 jackpot, your jackpot is 100 times your stake. We just got three jackpots out of this on the bounce on three credits. Jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. So that is like £100 repeating twice on a one pound play machine that is 300 times stake and that was something that both torbay and sponge lad say that they remembered this machine doing it could do it for real that that was your dream hit on this it was a two pound jackpot that held twice on a 2p play fruit machine it did intrigue me when i when i read those comments particularly from two different people saying the same thing oh i remember this machine called fruit cracker that could do this and once i saw we had a layout for it i thought you know what i'm going to try and replicate that for myself and see it happen because i had no idea that that 2p play machines could actually do that so that is a really big prize to get out of a 2p play machine on a wider note i will be coming back in the future i'm going to do more 2p play machines more old machines you know four pound three pound jackpot whatever it may be and we will have a look back through the archives because it does seem to me from the comments you've been leaving that a lot of people have a lot of fond memories of these things but i will leave that one there i just wanted to catch that on camera so thank you very much for watching i do hope you've enjoyed this video and i will catch up with you next time but for now it is goodbye